All right, what's going on, everybody? I'm Blitz5, and hope you guys are doing well. And this is going to be a different style of video. In this one, I'm going to be going over the recent Reddit AMA, which is Ask Me Anything that the PUBG developers put on for the release of the new map, Destin, already out on PC, and they did this right before it launched on console. So, of course, uh, people on console, unfortunately, weren't able to play it. Uh, but PUBG does these Reddit AMAs from time to time. And in this one, I'm going to be recapping some of the questions I thought were the most helpful. There's a lot of duplicate questions, things that I didn't think was too important. Um, but I'll leave the link for this down in the comments below in the, in the description in case you guys want to go through the entire thing yourself. Um, but here I'm going to be highlighting kind of like the top 15 things that I, th I thought were worthy of bringing up here and uh, some bonus things here because some people had some multiple part questions. Uh, so without explaining this for too long here we're going to get right into it and there were multiple PUBG uh staff answering questions on this uh, one of the names i think is the most important to point out is PUBG undersore curd stuff he is dave curd who is the creative director of PUBG, and if you're not familiar with him he took over from player unknown who was the creative director of the game so basically he is the person directing the creative nature of the game and the major decisions of like new features and stuff like that that come into the game and PUBG shares development between, it seems like the US and Korea, between who makes which map. For example, Korea made Tego, the US team made Haven, and it looks like they made this map as well. Destin being in America, out around Texas and Louisiana area. So the first question here is from Over Gazelle, and this is, will this map be added to ranked queue in the future? This was brought up during the reveal. They actually answered this by saying that Anything's on the table. If people want it in rank, then it will maybe make it in there. And that's what they said here. They asked, do you want it in ranked? What do you guys think? And Dave Kurtz said, it's up to the people. It shall be done if you guys want that. It's all up to the community sentiment. It is an awesome eight by eight map, but we also have to play it a lot longer to decide what's going to happen. But that's the initial answer. And that's honestly the answer to a lot of questions is that, you know, PUBG seems a lot more open now and they're willing if a lot of the community wants this. The next question is about gliders and they were asking why are there no gliders on the map and I thought this was interesting maybe a lot of people will have this question there's also no emergency pickups and all that stuff. So Dave Kurt here said it's a great question a lot of things to consider here and that the map vibe and intended experience for Destin which I totally agree. So there's already the cell towers and stuff like that that people can use. And also they're worried here that if there's gliders, it might be too overwhelming, just too many things like people on top of buildings, people in gliders, people in cell towers, people all over the place and very difficult to get to areas. And I agree that I think that would be too much. I don't know why they don't have gliders on Tego. Uh, so I agree with that. And I think, you know, they could always add gliders or the emergency pickup. I think it's smart to not include those in the game and have people really flush out using the cell towers and see if people like them. So that was basically the answer here. And I'm going to be paraphrasing a lot of this stuff because it's just a lot of text. And, and for me, this totally makes sense, but um, you know, we'll see how it plays. Then in this question here, we have one about, uh, this is from Mac, the Oreo boy it says, I'm curious to know what were some of the obstacles you faced when implementing new gameplay features like always on parachute and the ascenders. Also, what kind of features did you guys experiment with that didn't make the cut because didn't fit theme technical limits, just playing out crazy. So this answer gets very technical here. So again, I'm going to paraphrase here, uh, but they were saying that adding in objects like the ascenders, gas pumps and locked doors uh, is very difficult because they're rendering the pumps that are there normally, and then they have to render the explosion and then the, what the pumps look like after they've been exploded. And they said, when you consider this with the live version of the game that's being streamed like on the server, then replay mode, death cam, all that stuff on PC, that that's a lot of coding. And that's actually very difficult to do all that stuff and different hierarchies and they get very technical here. So if you want to read that, you can. And uh, then something interesting, which is the reason why I highlighted this question and answer was they said that as far as something that's more complicated than first impressions, they said elevators. I also mentioned this in the reveal that moving platforms are already weird, but contending for players jumping, carrying, dropping other players or loot, getting stuck under it, etc. There are a lot of edge cases to consider that work to convince us that ascenders is the way to go. And um, that makes sense if you think about it. Like they have to code all this stuff. How is it going to handle the physics? Dropping loot does it fall through the elevator. That does seem like an absolute nightmare trying to code that. Uh, so the ascenders are just an easier way to do that, which totally makes sense. But I figured some people might have questions around that. And elevators sound cool, but this is great. And for people that haven't played yet, the map is coming out tomorrow on console. The ascenders work really, really well. 
Then another question we have here is from last drop of P, LOL. People's usernames are incredible out there. Dave Kurt, who's the creative director, he answered here. Um, Dude, we had so much graffiti. Sadly, it had to go while we were doing performance slash optimization. I did a lot of graffiti for Miramar, Vikendi, Haven, Aragal. It's fun. And we had some good stuff for Destin. But the good news is it's not in the map. It still exists. We continue to tweak and optimize, find games. This is a world we can come back to and add even more grit slash life to the map. So everything they add to the game goes into the total memory and optimization performance of the map, right? That's why, you know, PUBG redid all of the maps to get more performance out of them and they have to worry about all the console platform stuff out there. So they dropped this, but you have to think about it. every time they add in new stuff, new guns, it all kind of adds to the memory of the game. So like, for example, if they find a way to better kind of optimize all of the big buildings, then they might have room to put in stuff like that back. So that's what they're mentioning here. Uh, but good question. Good to know. Uh, about that because it did seem like there wasn't too much of that on this map for sure a lot of billboards but not not a lot of graffiti or anything like that and then this is a multiple part question from imc dome big shout out to c dome he's a fellow pubg partner and content creator and also a friend of mine he'll probably be making a video about this so i'll link uh leave a link to his video down in the description box and comments below as well um he had multiple questions here they're all great questions but i think there's a couple that like really stood out that i'm gonna i'm gonna point towards uh it's one three six seven and ten because he had 13 questions um and some of them were, were just kind of a little like nuanced there c dome very detailed guy here and great questions all around so one of the first questions here is, or the first question is, are we more or less likely to get a new revive system to try out Destin and other PUBG maps? So Destin does not have a revive system nor comeback BR, which I was really shocked to see. Um, really surprised they didn't implement that on a new map. And they answer here, I have the answers on the side so we can kind of scroll through both, that we are thinking hard about revive. Tego has shown us. It's something that players can accept. So internally, it's something that we are considering. If we were to implement a global system, it would be a major change to the game. So we've got to make sure we do it right. If we try a system like this, it would make sense to debut it on a single map and see how it feels. Kind of like an answer, non-answer. I, I just thought that there was word out of Korea that they were maybe doing this on like all the big maps. Um, you know, I don't love Comeback BR, but I, I think it's better than nothing. And I just can't believe they didn't try something like this on Destin. Who knows? Maybe it's coming and they're kind of hiding it. But just, just kind of surprising because it is nice to have people come back, especially in squads. Then love this question from Seedome. The, the always on parachutes, if you guys haven't used them yet, it's an amazing new feature in PUBG that you always have a parachute equipped because you can just get out of shitty situations when you accidentally like run into something with your parachute. It helps you get off buildings, maneuver faster, all that stuff. This seems to me like a no brainer to add it to every single map. I just don't even know like what the con of this would be. I just think it should be added to every single map parachutes loot on like mirror modern stuff, leave the game. And everyone just always has the always on parachute. And uh, Dave Kurt answered by saying that this is very much in version one phase, the always on parachute, and that um, they are definitely going to be working on this a lot and taking in feedback and something that they will uh, consider, especially because they've received a very warm response or warm response so far. Uh, so we'll see how they do it. And I really hope that that comes into the game for sure. And then we have uh, number six. So C Dome asked, do we have rain and or night mode plan for Destin? And there was somewhere, I forget where, that PUBG mentioned that there's some dynamic weather coming into this map that we've never seen before, some new kind of weather system. And they hinted it here. I don't know if that was leaked or whatnot, um, but the answer number six is lots of big weather plans for Destin, including some stuff we haven't done in a PUBG map yet. I think the leak was around that they're doing potentially like like ever evolving day to night or night to day, or that it might match the time zone you're playing in or some, something along the lines of that. I really think it would be cool to start a match in the day and have it end at night or vice versa. So I'm really hoping to see something like that. And I think that's what they were hinting at. So very cool stuff. Then number 10 here is questions about the O12, which is the new auto shotgun. Uh, so they were asking, Cedar was asking why it can only take uh, low level scopes. I don't think it takes anything over a red dot or two times um, and wanted to ask about that and kind of the damage and, and it, will it just become pointless uh, the gun and they said here that the O12 is, is intended to be a hybrid and that they found that if you could put on scopes higher than a two times that you could actually kind of use it like a DMR so you have to remember that this shotgun is like a slug it is a slug shoot slugs instead of spray instead of the buckshot so buckshot the 
the buckshot spreads out. So it's easier for close range, but then isn't good at shooting long distance. So in this case, we're using slugs. So it's actually better at a longer distance, but then harder up close because you actually have to hit your shot kind of like a sniper rifle. So I think it's genius that they did this to kind of switch up the shotgun game and that this can be used at a greater distance. And they said basically they noticed that people start off using it like auto burst to just shoot everywhere up close. But then once you get really good with it, people start single firing it at like a longer distance. So honestly, I haven't had too much time with the O12, but this makes me really want to use it and try it mid range, especially when I play on console, because I'm more familiar with that platform. So I think um, I'm pretty interested in trying that out. And then they did have another question here that I wasn't going to include, uh, but they talked about, um, some of the P the actually, no, we're going to get into this in another question. So if you want to read all of uh CDOM's other questions, some good ones there, but I thought those were the best, um, uh, ones to highlight. And again, some people ask some similar questions as well. So one of the next questions here, again, CDOM had kind of asked this is will Destin always be in the map pool? Um, will we see it in any new esports tournaments? The fuel pump is a great idea. Will we see that on other maps? And I've seen a deployable shield on YouTube. So does that mean we are getting this soon? Also, are we getting faster blue zones for the new map since I always see more than 25 people alive in phase five or six? So great questions here. So I said, this is what I've heard this before. PUBG has stated this many times that they want to always keep two big maps in Aaron Gold, Miramar for the most part. And then other maps get rotated. Uh, being Destin and Tego, but so far they haven't rotated Tego out. So I'm really interested to see what they do with that for sure. Uh, but I think we'll always see Aaron Gall. I hope that one day they they rotate Miramar out. I think that would make sense. Then next they said they're, they're going to look at o the O12, but it's very early that they won't do that yet. They're probably not going to be updating it. Um, then they said that the fuel pump idea is good, that they probably will be adding that, the signs for towards this. I think that's what they were saying. Um, and then the deployable shield on YouTube. Um, so they said that is coming soon. So we did see that that's probably coming in the next major update, maybe in a month or two uh, for Destin. And it's hard to say here if they were answering about the fuel pump or will we see it in tournaments. Um, but I really think that uh, they should bring the gas thing to every gas station in PUBG on Aaron Gold, Miramar. It's kind of a no brainer. Why not? If they can go in, I mean, it's going to take up performance on those maps. Um, but we were talking about this on stream the other day that it seems like at this point, it's cool that each map has its unique features, but things like that, like the gas station blowing up, like hay bales and stuff like that, should be consistent from map to map because then it just gets really confusing, right? Like maybe you're playing on a map and three maps have the gas station thing, let's say, and then another map doesn't, and you're shooting it, think it's going to explode, or you drive back in the day, they changed the hay bales on Aragol where you could drive through them, and then if you hit one on Miramar, it didn't blow up. So I feel like they need to definitely kind of make that stuff consistent across all the maps. So hopefully they can do that. And it seems like they are working on some of those things behind the scenes to finally kind of make the game a little bit more uh, balanced across every map. Then another question here, this is from Gudo DH. It says the Ascenders is a very cool addition to the game. I would just ask for it to be a little louder or have a noise when attaching, detaching. It's really silent and hard to identify even short range. And their actual question is, do you have any plans on adding the Ascender to Erangel or Miramar later on? So during the reveal, I think they did talk about this, that they were considering it on Miramar, especially for the outer perimeter of the map to help people who land there. Maybe you can't find a car or whatever, and then get into the, uh, the zone a little faster. Um, so they said they are keeping feedback on the Ascender and that they are curious or interested in potentially adding it into Miramar, but they're just waiting for feedback from the community to see how it is and um, that they that they would love to see it on other maps. So I, I definitely think we might see it, but that would be a big change to the older maps. Uh, but I definitely think a map like Miramar, it would kind of make sense in Miramar. Like there's a lot of, I feel like there's some towers in Miramar. Uh, I think it could work on that map. When I don't know if it's really necessary on Erangel might change the vibe, but I would definitely love to see that on Miramar or even maybe Vikendi. One last thing here, uh, Dave Kurd said that it's easy to camp a rooftop, especially with a squad. So he's afraid of making the ascender have a disadvantage, like having extra noise, because then it might just give people, you know, a good counter to it. So they want to be have people be able to use it and that they're gonna, like I said, be watching the feedback. All right. And then another question here is Destin is a huge map like Miramar, but I wish Miramar had more circles ending in the cool outlying areas like prison. Will Destin feature more final circles on the edge of the map? Something I'm very concerned with. Great question from Ransom Barefoot. Again, another interesting username. 
So it says circle locations and circle blue zone speeds are two items that are on our radar right now for sure. We are talking about those internally right now. So that's I love to hear that from Linception. They're talking about that. I think everybody in the in the world that plays PUBG wants to see more varied circles, and there hasn't really been too many changes to the blue zone since the game started. So I definitely would love them to tweak that for sure. So great question. And also said we are looking into where the final circles are ending um, on Destin. So they're definitely just waiting for that and seeing what going to happen so there you go and then dave kurt also mentioned about maybe adding the cell towers to other maps um at the bottom of that question then we have a question from blitz5 getting this myself here i wanted to add a question in i actually didn't have too many questions but i wanted to throw one in there i made a little joke here talking about destiny destiny's child and your final destination at Ripton, some puns. But my actual question here was about Ripton. So Ripton is the largest city ever built in PUBG. And I was wondering, you know, how do they come to the conclusion on this map's look on this location for the city? For example, you could put it in the center and then people actually have time to get there because it's more likely to be in the circle, right? Like you land there, you have more time to loot, explore. Uh, for example, like it's fun to land Picado or Pachinki because you know you're probably going to be in the circle or close and you have time to get to the circle. But if you land in Campo Militar or Alcantara or Zarki on Mir on uh, Erangel or, you know, military base or prison on Miramar, it's like pointless to go to these locations because they're just so far outside the map and that the odds are the circle is not going to be there. So I wanted to get some information on that, but unfortunately they didn't really give too much into their, their reasoning or maybe they don't have too much. Um, but then again, I was saying if you put it center, then maybe too many people will go there and that's not good. So they kind of said that that's kind of the deal. So they said, how can we design this with a bunch of favorite locations in it? Not having a central main city is part of that. So they don't want one city to be the main city. They want every city to be like an option. So they don't want to put a big one in the middle. And that's why they put some minor cities in the middle, like Lodge and Arena. So if you notice, this map has a lot of like more minor locations in the middle and the bigger locations are on the outside. So I guess that's PUBG's idea is that, hey, we want people landing all around the map. But again, it, I just feel like if, if you land Ripton every time the circle's outside the city, then I'm going to stop landing there. That's just me. Um, so we'll see. And right now it seems like the hot drop, the biggest hot drops are Lodge and also Arena that are more towards the middle of the map. All right, and next up is how long did it take to build Destin? And PUBG Chris responded that I won't go into specifics about how long it was, but it was over a year for our team size to make Destin. So I guess he said team size because, again, this might have just been made in America. Um, but, yeah, it did take them a long time to build this map. And I mean, Destin was talked about for a long time. So that's interesting stuff there, but not a full answer, but in interesting. And then there's another question here. It is, I love the new map. Probably one of the best I've seen. My question is, I see that there's a glorious swamp in the new map. Is there potential to add alligators to the swamp? I've seen the chickens added and birds. And even though they're not as predatory as gators, let's go. And then they mentioned that there are the airboats now. And one of them is called the gator chaser. And there was some rumors that PUBG might be adding animals to some of the maps. Uh, but I don't think that went into... Uh, fruition or came into fruition and PUBG Chris said I would love to have alligators or other wildlife in the maps but it adds a lot to the environment and can really bring them to life uh, but I don't know if that's something we can or will add to Destin but I'm always looking to get something like that in the maps there was another response from someone saying that that adds like in a whole nother coding and performance aspect to the game that is kind of problematic so maybe PUBG did want to do this but then decided not to I'm sure there's a lot of ideas that come up at PUBG uh, that kind of don't work out or they kind of move on from and just like many of us in the community, we have a lot of ideas. PUBG reads these ideas. PUBG talks about them, and they also have their own ideas. They have a lot of ideas, but not everything can be put into the game, obviously. But that would be pretty funny. And then here, shout out to Hybrid Havoc, who's a friend of the channel and of my stream. And he had a question, has there ever been any work or discussion surrounding single-player campaign experience? Um, and I was tweeting this the other day, and actually an ex-employee of PUBG tweeted about why they didn't do it, because that's just not like what they were focused on. Uh, but PUBG has an interesting lore that they've been working on, and I feel like it would be a great way for people to enjoy the game and learn how to play. Um, but obviously, they, they haven't done that. And Dave Kurtz said, oh, hell yeah, we have nothing to do but make and talk about PUBG. So for sure, what is the world like outside of the battlegrounds and what would it be like to really be thrown into one? Question gets asked. No current plans to develop this, but it's something we can deeply, we care deeply about and have discussed internally. I think we've got an interesting world and it's rich with storytelling opportunities. So it doesn't look like it's something that's on their radar. But I was thinking more of like a legitimate solo kind of thing and not um, like a... 
playing a battle royale, but some kind of other story. And honestly, Player Unknown mentioned something about what his idea of a campaign would be when he first made PUBG, and that it would maybe be like going around the map and taking out compounds that are overrun by the enemy, uh, whatever the enemy is, um, or some kind of like defense game that way, which could have been interesting, but I think PUBG has really evolved since then, and that probably wouldn't be enough. Then we have another question from Snipe Show, who's a friend of the channel in the stream. So including this in here, what was the hardest thing about the creation of Destin, which I also thought was a good question. And for Chris, it said was getting the flooded sections to feel right to running slow in the swamp. So they added a lot of water in. Obviously, that's tough to play in for PUBG. Uh, so they worked on that a lot to fix it. And honestly, they did a great job. It's easy to walk through the water areas. And I haven't spent too much time in the seriously flooded areas, but the airboat works perfectly in that. And uh, I think they ended up doing a great job with that. So kudos to the team not an easy thing to do for sure and then this is a fun one that i had to include this is why design a skate slash bike park but not code a mountain bike 100 percent into that area and then they said it's a missed opportunity and uh that you know maybe they will so it sounds like that's something easy why not do that all right um and then another question here we're getting towards the end i don't know how many questions we have left not too many but it says that this map seems to include a lot of fun features from Battle Royale's genre. Zip lines, parachutes, multi-level combat, new vehicles, hidden loot spots. Were there any features that you wanted to add but didn't? And how, what were they and what would have altered the map from what it is now? There are a couple new features coming soon. This is why I included this. The, this answer is very interesting. There are a couple new features coming soon that may or may not have been spotted in the gameplay video. We've been playing Destiny with all of these for a while, and I'm super excited to see what you think about them getting added. So we saw that there's going to be a new MP9 submachine gun coming to the game, a food truck that looks like an ice cream truck that you could drive, and also the deployable cover. And it also sounded like there's some other stuff they mentioned here that was not in the gameplay video uh, trailer. And then one of the people at the bottom says um moving conveyor belts black zone and destruction so i don't know what that means because someone said there's the vagueness for me some person said it's game development you know meaning like it's vague and then aj responded with this so i've wanted to see the black zone on other maps but i know that's a lot of coding i can't imagine that's coming into destin but that would be amazing if that was the case so don't really know what they mean by this this is a troll or whatnot but um maybe i just not picking up on the joke but that would be really interesting if they did that. And then here we have a question. Have you considered allowing drones to have the option to have a few stun slash flash charges? This could make them viable option in dealing with people who are camping in buildings, similar to the drone on Rainbow Six, which I did not know that was a feature. Uh, but that is a really cool idea. And PUBG AJ said, this is a cool idea. I'll be I'll make sure to share with the designers. So that would be pretty sweet if you could fly the drone in first, drop some stuns or drop a stun and then run in. It's actually a pretty sweet... Uh, um feature and also they could bounce it out maybe no frags no mollies just stuns and smokes and that would be a really good way to kind of clear out some buildings so i, I don't really see the um, downside on that that would be pretty cool and obviously would make the drones um more useful and that's actually the last question that i put in for the ama so that's basically it that's what i thought were the most important ones obviously there's some questions you guys might think are more important but i feel like these were the best ones that people are going to have a lot of questions with and i know people have a lot of questions about the map in general and different things but a lot of those things are what's up with ranked is it going to get rotated what's going on with gliders and some of the other things on the map why aren't they included and i think these did a good job of answering those questions and if you have any more questions, I'm going to be playing Destin tomorrow and all the rest of the week and next week on my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash blitz5 and friends. So you guys can come in. We're going to be exploring all of Destin. I already had a chance to explore it on PC, so I'm already pretty aware of some of the nooks and crannies and some of the secret locations, including at Lodge. So I'd love to see you guys stop by and check out the new map, and I hope you guys can also enjoy it as well. Thank you all for watching. As always, I'm Blitz5, and peace out.